When creating islands and peninsulas, you'll be using back panels often. Back panels can be found in the left-hand corner in your drag and drop menu. When searching for back panels, I recommend that when you're working with your brand specific catalog or even our generic catalog, you first go to the category of the type of panel that you want. For instance, base panels, look in base cabinets. Wall, cab wall panels, go to the wall cabinet area. In this case, I'd like to place an island uh, back panel, so I'll go to base cabinets and I will scroll to the bottom, and again, in most catalogs you work in, panels is usually, if not the last thing, very near the end of the list. So I will double click on panel, and it will give me a list of all the panels that my catalog offers. At the top in this case, we're gonna choose base and peninsula panels. Now, to the right we have a plan, and you'll notice I already have an island designed, and there really is no need for a panel in this instance. So let's redesign this island. Maybe our customers come in and said, we'd like to um, take two of the cabinets out because it's taking too much space on our plan in our room. So we will click on two of the cabinets and simply say, delete. And in that case, I now have a raw back on my island. So I need to place a, a back peninsula panel. In this case, I'll go back over to the left where it says sample F catalog. I'll go down through my list of items. And many of your catalogs will have a panel called expandable panel. We can grab that panel and drag it and drop it on the screen. Now it's a little bit hard to see, but right next to my cursor is a small block. That's actually the beginning of the panel. We'll move it to the left-hand side back of the island, and you'll see that the snap feature, the block appears, which means it will automatically snap to that point. When I left-click, it snaps. I will take my mouse and draw to the right until I reach the end point. And again, when I left-click, it will snap to the end of the cabinet. In this instance, if I zoom in, you'll see that I have applied a finished panel to the back of my island. Now, many of your catalogs do use an expandable panel, a 4x8 panel or 8x4 panel, depending on the cross grain and uh, whatever you're using. But many of your catalogs will also have set dimensioned panels. And if you look to the left hand side, we have 18 inch panels, 24 inch panels, 60 inch in this case. And if I were to take, let's say, a 60 inch panel and drop it on the back of this 54 inch island, I would move it, drop it behind it, and go to the attributes area and quickly change the attribute to 54 inches instead of 60 inches.